Good morning, everyone. It's 9.48 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the West Coast. And one of the things that we're going to do, and we are going to update you on the 60-minute chart. It's our mid-morning update. However, the uh, thing that we want to be very clear with all of our traders, option traders, equity traders, future traders, this is that we are in a correction. And on the 60-minute chart, when we go back over here on 12-2, December 2nd, we sold straight up on the 60-minute. We put the bottom in here, and we have gone straight up on 12-4. We went straight up to a top, which also where this trend line horizontal goes was a major resistance area, and we sold down on 12.7 and we made lows here and here are the lows of the body of the 60 minute price so we did have a good size bounce we also said that the december volatility was going to increase meaning that the amount of up days and down days we do mathematically i want to cover that on uh 12.8 which was yesterday on 12.8, is we had put a high in the S&P at 2073. And we sold down on a 60-minute level to 2052. And basically, on the 60-minute chart, is when we see these 200-minute period and a 50-minute period moving average, is, is that they're starting to turn down. So we want to make it clear where the downtrend started, but every up move that we had, it failed and came down and tested the support levels over here in a 60 minute. Today on 12.9, on a 60 minute level, we went straight up. We opened up at 2067 and we made a high in the S&P at 2080 right here and so we went from 2080 and these two bars are 60 minute bars all the way back down here to where that pivot point is let us not forget that we are in the beginning of a 60 minute sell signals and they have been here and this is why the bull every time we get a bull every time the bulls go up we go down and we make another low and right now the low as of 9.51 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12.9 is the date of 2015. And we made a low here at 2.037. So this uh, bar is how we have failed. We are at a major, a super major support line on a 60 minute. And what does that mean? Let me just brief you quickly and Merry Christmas to all of our traders around the world, everybody who views this on live tube, and we're going to be bringing a option trading platform called Turbo Option Trading. And we are experts in both stocks and options. But however, you're going to make a lot more money in the option with us trading options now look i'm going to draw a trend line right here where the breakout happened off of this lower support level and i'm just going to make it very clear that the actual 60 minute reversal um which was a long time ago that was on november 3rd 11 3 we went straight down and we sold off and the uh, downtrend, when I go all the way back over here from the 60-minute level, watch. That trend line is going to come down from where we had the longer second leg reversal on 60-minute. Now, let's take a look at the 60-minute rally. Here it is, Merry Christmas, St. Nick. And basically, that trend line comes right up here. And... Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom 
and we're going to take it and we're going to roll it right here, my friends, on a 60-minute level. Now, having said that, we started the down move again, and the bull came in again. And he did all of that on 12-3. We had a rally. It's called a counter rally on a 60-minute level. Now, my friends, let's take the longer one again, where the top was on 11-3 on a 60-minute level, and we're going to come right there. That means that that diagonal line has broke on a 60-minute level all the way down here. And it has. As an intraday trader, it's very good. Now, having said that, bam, um, I just want everyone to know one thing. We are not wrong, and I'm going to show you why. And I'm going to show you that the 60-minute chart always tells the truth. And basically, what I'm going to show you next is going to be this. What we're doing right now is we're going to show you here of where we've given a lot of analysis on the S&P had major resistance. Um, you can go here and you can take a look at where the Dow Jones was. That was a six week breakout on the Dow. We had a 60 minute chart that we made a lot of money on on the put side of the market. That was a $40,000 trade. Here's another live video. Remember, everything that we do is before the fact. So let's type in uh, D O W Dow Jones and see what we might get on stock market funding. There. We're going to hit go. Now, we had already called all of these corrections. You can take a look at the, the September movement right here. Click on the video. You can also look for a bear market with six weeks breakout. Um, and just click on here. Here's a Black Monday on 2015 when the Dow was tanking. And I said tanking. Oh, boy, did it tank. So I want you to do your homework and just know. That all you got to do is type in the search box and you're going to get everything that we said. And basically, it's the month of December. And basically, the month of December so far has proven that we are in major reversal areas again. And every time, every time that we get a bull rally on a 60 minute level, you can see where these top level reversals are. So let's just for, so we're going to cut that right there. And it's going to be perfect. And so reversal one, reversal two on a 60, another pop here for today on 12.9 and a major sell off in the S&P 500. And we would just like everybody to know one thing. Um, when we trade, we trade the um, market based on shorting the SPY, and we also buy put options on the S&P, and we are experts. And TurboOptions.com is coming our way. So let me just show you very quickly um, where we're at on a, on a December um it tells us exactly where we're at, and we're here and we're now. So when we go to certain strike prices, we make a lot of money trading the S&P 500 puts and the calls. And as an option trader, we're not wrong. And the reason why is because right now I can show you how much money that we're actually making on the S&P. So when I take you here, at the 2,085 put option, which I'm going to show you. And right now, we own put options. The put options here were a $28 range on the S&P 500. That was 2,085 put option. They're up $17 today. The low 
They were 34.95 on yesterday's close, but we're getting in around here around 25, 26 dollars on that 20.85 put option. Very quickly, option traders have have never seen a put chart or a call chart. This is a put chart and the value of that super gap. 99.99% of the public and even professionals have never, ever, ever. And you know, for the people that are watching here, when it comes to options, you haven't either. And this is the big spike that we got in the 2085 put on the S&P 500 today. We made a fortune today. And you can make your fortune too as we take you through. Another thing that we want to bring to your attention is that the S&P 500 had 2,365 contracts. The low was $9.85. This put option has had $18 movement. You had 10 contracts at $10 and you're selling them up here. You make $17,000 trading the put options as the S&P is tanking. Now, Having said that, this is the 2040 put, which was $40 below the market. And we went straight up as the 60-minute uh, chart. We went straight down right here in the S&P. And then we buy the put options. And we had a big super move in these put options on the S&P. And you need to know that these contracts were $55 back on 11.13. And just of recently, in the last few days, on 12.3, the 2040 put December S&P 500 had made a peak over here, and we had the highs over here above $30 a contract. And then they were on sale when we buy these put options, we buy them, and you could afford it with your option trading account. You've never seen a 2040 put chart. You've never seen call charts. You don't have that with your current broker dealer. And I know you don't, and I know we do. And once again, when we go back over here and we do our analysis, we're making a fortune on the 1219. This is a monthly contract on the S&P 500 within the actual price volatility in the S&P, the calls make great moves too. We buy the calls down at the bottom and we go up. And then we start the reversal here, we buy the puts. When it wants to go up over here, we're buying the calls. And now we're big time short, 2090, we've had a 50 point drop starting on 12.3. Of course, this is a 12.7. And this is a 12.9 today. We dropped. We're starting to get a little bit of support here. We have another support line down here on the S&P 500 index. How to trade what? We are professionals in what? We're professionals right here. And today, the put charts paid big money. And the Dow had triple digit losses as well. And like we said, the volatility would increase and it would be a perfect trading environment using the 60 minute levels. I rally up, bears were in control. We came back, the bull got up to the top and the bull on a lower high level have reversed 12.9, guess what? On 12.9, we have a complete sell-off, and we're making a lot of money. And once again, Merry Christmas to you. And the most important thing that you can do for yourself is if you are an option trader, you don't have to have experience. We will train you.